Okay, party people. Okay, I'm so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> it's me again, and today I'm going to be blabbing about blushes. Um, as you guys know, there are a lot of people who watch my channel who are just really just getting into makeup, and they don't know, like, what to, like, what to use. So, I'm here for you. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll start off by saying my favorite blush. My favorite blush is Max Gingerly. I just bought this blush, like, literally no time ago. And it is beautiful. It's a sheer tone finish. Oh, and um, it goes... It's a limited edition collection, by the way. This is the MAC Plus collection. So, yeah, and here's a swatch of Gingerly. As you can see, it's just beautiful. And it pretty much fits any complexion from Olive to Albino, from super, super dark, you know, complexions. I'm not trying to be, like, discriminating, I guess. Super dark complexions to super light complexions. It works for all complexions. So I definitely recommend this blush. But if you're looking for some less expensive blushes, um, then there's so many you can find. Like, you have no idea. But yeah, pretty much what I use to apply this is either my MAC 129SH, which means, you know, the, um... What does SH stand for? I had it like on the tip of my tongue. Oh, SH stands for short hair. Okay, like no joke. I just it just came to me. Okay, this is my 129 short hair. As you can see, it has some pretty short bristles on it, and then my 129 regular. So short hair regular. You can. Tell the difference. These are both MAC, but normally I just use um, the short hair, as you can tell, and I just do some swirling motions in the pan. And as you can see, the blush doesn't really work well when you use your fingers. Um, I don't know, it just doesn't. Um, because it's a powder blush, it comes out way more when you use a brush. So yeah, if I need to clean this up, that's so gross. Or even new strippers came in a can. It looks like I just paid fifteen hundred bucks for the junk that somebody didn't have room in their garage for. Okay. Oh, and also in this blush, it comes with a brush. Did I did I mention that? It's a non-synthetic brush. If I mention that, just go ahead and skip ahead. So yeah, and it has a mirror because it's limited edition. And yeah, that's pretty much just what that looks like. So, um, yeah, some older blushes that I have, like the first blushes that I ever used are in this forever old Urban Decay, um, mixer palette. It had an eyeshadow on the side, but it fell off, and it's downstairs. So, um, yeah, pretty much, I just, for the first couple years I started wearing makeup, I wore these blushes. I'm gonna bring these out four the blushes, and I will go through the colors. This one I am soon to hit pan on, and like till this day, I still wear these blushes. You can see this one and this one. I'll I'll go through the colors. Um, till this day, I still wear these blushes because I think that they're gorgeous. And this palette was about twelve dollars, and I bought it resale, so it was about. Four dollars for me, but yeah. Um, I hope these are good swatches because I don't think they are. So yeah, and I also have some four bronzers down here, but I'll get into that later. Okay, so this color is the color that I use the least, um, but it's probably the prettiest on here. I am just not like kind of thinking of that, but yeah, this color is um, peachy keen. And it looks like that. It is definitely very similar to Gingerly. You can, oh wow, that's like a dupe. I'll have to put that in my dupe video. Um, the next one is Raspberry, which looks like that. 
It's very sheer um, and super light. It's the lightest color like on this blush series. The next one is Berries and Cream, which is the one, as you can see, I wore the most. Because when I got this palette, it was winter time and I needed a dark red blush. Because in the winter, I guess I just was very into wearing darker colors. So that's what Berries and Cream looks like. And then the last one is called Soothe, and that's what it looks like. This one is pretty similar to Gingerly too. And then like, oh hell, let's watch these bronzers too. So yeah, this one right here is Red Dirt. This one right here is Hot Cocoa, which as you can see I wore the most. This one right here is Warm. And this one right here is Sunset on the Islands. So yeah, there's that palette. And ooh, that's so old, but I, I love it. So yeah. Mm, something is like haunting my room. Okay. Next, I have this eyeshadow kit. And this is my friend. She left it at my house. So, and she like just texted me. Like, I'll show you the text message. Cause like she came over and left it okay because like I'm on spring break right now like today's my first day of spring break so yeah okay so she just left and she said I had a lot of fun me too and then I said uh, you left your eyeshadow and then she said okay keep it like till we go back to school and I said okay thanks so yeah I was like dude that's so awesome so yeah now I have this and I'm looking through it like what can I do with this I'm like I'm gonna incorporate like this but like I don't know I just knew I was gonna have to this is how you sonic. So I am looking through it. And I'm like, what are these? So I'm a dumbass because I should have known that, you know, you're like, so yeah, I swatched them and I'm like, oh, freak. These are totally blushes and bronzers. So I'm like, Holy crap, because I know a lot of the younger kids more, like prefer eyeshadow, but if you're going to wear eyeshadow, you really need to balance it out. And this is the Profusion um, Be Essential Beauty Kit, and you really need to like make that work. Like, if I'm wearing this heavy eye makeup, I need to have something on my lips and something on my cheeks to balance everything, so I don't, don't look like a... Oh. So yeah. Here's a swatch. Here is this blush. And they all have names, but it's very pretty. It's similar to Gingerly. Then here's this blush, which I can see she uses the most. And it's a bubblegum pink. And then here is this blush, which is just a super dark red. So yeah, and that's pretty much about blushes. For any questions, hit me up. Later.